Hey, Jason here with WLGO reporting on this year's FLL 2010 Challenge. Here's some interesting things happening over at Body Ford Engineering Corp. Let's go take a look. Welcome, Junior Biomedical Engineers. I am so glad you have come to my open house here at Body Ford Engineering Corp. I have many exciting things to show you and even a few surprise biomedical engineers that have volunteered to let you shadow them on a few procedures. Come, follow me to the bone casting room. Watch as the doctors and biomedical engineers set a bone, then apply this specially designed blue material. This is needed to cover the break completely so the bone will heal correctly. Everyone is always under the watchful eye of our lead biomedical engineer, Dwight. He makes sure that the casting is not broken. This would be very bad for the team and the patient. I really need to stay out of the bone casting room because it's costing me a lot in segways. Sometimes breaks and fractures cannot be fixed with a cast because pieces of bone are missing. At our next stop, we'll watch Dr. Laura repair a piece of bone with special bone growing cells. After the new bone has grown and strengthened, it will be as good as new. Our lead biomedical engineer, Dwight, has developed some guidelines to follow. Testing guidelines are good, junior biomedical engineers. For instance, only the leg with the bone bridge can move the foot. Only the foot can move, propel, the ball. The bone bridge must not touch the mat. Germs are bad. The ball must be touching the green area in the goal when the match ends. Thank you, Dwight, for sharing. Hey, look, I Am Patient has just recovered from this procedure. Let's see if he can score a goal. Our next lab is run by a special bioengineer we lovingly call Ed the Bunny because he is always looking for faster and faster ways of screening out white blood cells. Let's watch him in action. Contamination needs to be at a minimum, so all white blood cells must be out of orange area and into the patient area and red blood cells must never be in the patient area. Ed the Bunny also stores his red blood cells and always encourages his team not to touch the equipment to prevent contamination, causing Dwight to take the red blood cells away. Here's a special challenge from Ed the Bunny. He is having a hard time finding a method to identify bad cells in his cultures. Here is the problem. When he leaves his office, these cell panels get mixed up and he has a hard time remembering which were white or black. He is asking for your help, Junior Bion Engineers. Can you come up with a grand solution? I have an idea. Face some black cells up, and the rest of the black cells face north. I have another idea. Show bad cell destruction by clicking all the five black cells north. Great job, Junior Bioengineers. You did fine work. They are all fully clicked and in place. Oh my, it's almost lunchtime. Let us look in on Dr. Laura. She's working on a new patent for a mechanical arm. If she gets it working, it will mean a lot to people without a hand. Let's not disturb her. She's on the phone talking with other people. Maybe she's working with another team to get the job done faster. Dr. 
Laura, I have two Lego bricks that won't stay stuck together. Can you help? Sorry, I'm not that Dr. Laura. Special delivery, Bionic Eyes. That is exciting. Junior biomedical engineers, I just got word we have cardiac surgeries being performed as we speak. Let's go. Patient one has a hole in their heart. The surgeon is going to apply a patch to the heart with a hole in it. This material can be placed any place on the heart. I can place it here or here, wherever the repair is needed. Our next surgery is to place a pacemaker in the heart. This is a tricky procedure because only the black tube is allowed in the heart. Let's be very quiet and watch. She must make sure the gray body of the pacemaker does not get inside the heart. This is very bad for the patient. Yay! Yay, they did it. Look, here is a really cool model for repairing a constricted artery. Watch tickle bone and cranium insert the stent into the artery. The tricky thing is to make sure the walls are parallel to allow the blood to flow again. Good job! Let's shoot over to where we are trying to map the brain. Moving the brain's nerve input and watching for the slightest response gives us lots of information. Here we have mapped the signal to trigger a remote control device to open a door. Here we are testing how sensitive a robot can be. We do not want any door slamming robots out there. A gentle press will complete the test. Have you ever heard of a medicine auto dispensing machine? Here we are testing a new design and we must only drop the blue and white pills into the bucket. Then we take them to the patient area. This concludes our tour of Body Forward Engineering Corp. Everything I have shown you took teamwork to accomplish and the courage to keep trying no matter what. I hope my team of doctors, biomedical engineers, and patients have inspired you to go out and do great things. Engineer it up!